Welcome back everyone on deck for review today will be the Caracal F pistol, the 18 plus one 9 millimeter gun. Obviously the news coming out of Caracal lately about the recall is going to be part of the review. But we're going to try to do our typical review as well as that. Uh, we'll put some rounds here on steel from 12 meter line, hopefully, most of them anyway. And um, get into a tabletop discussion, do a chronograph test of some popular carry and defensive loads out of this gun. And then talk about that recall and uh, perhaps what the future of the gun is going to be. But right now, we'll see if we can make that steel jump a little bit, and then get into the rest of it. Alright guys, the 18 plus 1 of 9mm, and an easy to shoot package, uh, it's a good gun. And uh, up next will be the tabletop. We'll go ahead and show you how to break the gun down for those of you guys that aren't familiar with it. You just release the magazine right here. And I should point out the magazine release is ambidextrous. And uh, go ahead, inspect the chamber. It is empty. Point the gun in a safe direction. Pull the trigger. Pull the slide back slightly, just like a Glock for those of you that are familiar with that. And you're going to pull down on these two tabs right here. And release the slide. The slide comes right off. Take out your spring. Take out your barrel, and that's your field strip Caraco. A couple things we'll point out here while we have the slide apart is the uh, big one here, in my opinion, is the firing pin safety. Um, on a Glock or an MMP, for instance, you have to push a little depressor up, and that's what releases the, the striker to go forward and uh, ignite the round. On this one, it's this little side piece here. I'll zoom in for you there so you can get a look at it. It's that piece. That's your uh, firing pin safety there, striker safety, however you want to look at it. That's what releases the uh, firing pin there. So that's one of the reasons the trigger on this gun is just so smooth. Because um, you don't have that upward force that you have to fight. And you don't have a coil spring that you're fighting as well. You can see there's no coil spring on this one. So it definitely helps in that department. Um, other things you want to note while we have the gun apart. Um, you can see all the, all the inside pieces are, are coated with the same finish as the outside, which is the Plazox finish. The Plazox finish is a nitriding finish, just like uh, a surface hardening treatment, just like, say, like a MMP or a Glock. This one here is a little bit slicker feeling. It feels almost like Teflon. You can see here that the finish is holding up pretty well. We got some wear marks here from the holsters, uh, ejection marks, stuff like that. But this gun's got a good bit of rounds through it, and the holster's doing well. Uh, excuse me, the finish is doing well so far. All the parts, though, in the interior do have that same finish, so definitely probably going to be durable in the long run. The barrel has it, um, all that. So put it back together. You just go in the opposite order that we took it apart in. So put the barrel in there, recoil spring in there seat that and then we uh, just uh, put it on the rails and while, we, while we're at it the, side, the length of these rails is more substantial than many of its uh, counterparts the very long all steel rails that do come out in one piece um, for modularity but one of the reasons I think they did that even though this gun is only a nine millimeters that Caracal has announced that they plan on making a 40 caliber version as well as a 357 sig for this uh, for this gun and the C so when that comes out those rails are uh, probably gonna come in handy to add some strength and durability to the frame but um, for those of you guys that have never canceled a Caracal and never seen one in your stores because they're not really available everywhere, um, here's a uh, Glock 17 for size comparison. We'll go ahead and put it on top of the Glock 17 so you guys can see that the Glock has a slightly longer barrel. I'm not sure how, how well that comes in there, but um, I'll try to line it up there perfectly. Just slightly. The Glock is a little bit longer. Not much. I'm talking like an eighth of an inch maybe. So other than that, though, the dimensions are almost exactly the same. Take a look at the... The, grips, the grip is almost the same. You can see there the grip angle is slightly different on the Caracal because it's got that, that hump in the back. It's not quite like the Glock hump. If you can put them side by side, you can compare there. But um, almost identical in, in size, but the Caracal is 18 plus one versus the Glock's uh, 17 plus one, which really, I mean, doesn't matter at that point. Well, maybe, I mean, it might. You know, if your life comes out of that last round, you'll be glad you have it. But um, that's how they compare in size. We'll uh, talk about some final thoughts here next and then uh, follow it up with Chronograph. We're gonna knock out some final thoughts here on the uh, Caracal. Some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't. The pros are that this right, this uh, gun has been 100% accurate for me. Never had a malfunction in it whatsoever. Uh, it's fun to shoot, it's easy to shoot. That trigger's great. Uh, the trigger breaks right around 4.5 pounds. In my opinion, it's the uh, it's the best trigger out there on the market in terms of uh, striker-fired guns. And yes, I have shot the PPQ and I actually own the PPQ as well. Um, I think it's better the PPQ, just since this gets brought up a lot, 
tends to be have such a short reset that I've seen a lot of people double it. This one has a little bit longer reset, but it's just, it's just as light and crisp and smooth. So in my opinion, I'd give the edge to the Caracal, but again, that's one man's opinion there. Um, uh, the sights, I like them, I like the straight eight sights. They finally have started uh, bringing in the fiber optic sights um, into Caracal USA, so you can buy them from them nowadays. As well as any kind of replacement parts like springs and stuff like that, that's, that's here finally. Uh, a lot of us have been waiting for those. But um, good gun all around, accurate, reliable, easy to shoot, soft shooting due to that real low bore axis in your hand. As you can see there, I mean, that thing is very low in your hand, easy to shoot well, and the cost is still really good. Um, so those are all the, the pros of it. The con of it, obviously, it's got a recall right now, guys. Um, so this gun will be going in as soon as Caracal gets back to me with a shipping number for the uh, trigger recall. But um, that said, I, I personally don't have a problem still still shooting it. I don't feel unsafe with it. I've uh, loaded a just a, a brass case with a primer in there and dropped it on hard surfaces, tried to get it to discharge. It didn't. So um, I'm not sure with that recall. It's just one gun and they're recalling all of them for safety purposes or what it is or maybe just some of the guns aren't affected. But this one I don't really think is. Um, obviously it's got a great capacity, the 18 plus one magazine. That's, that's tough to beat in a gun of this size. Um, I don't know, it's a really good gun, but in the end, we're still gonna have to see how that recall turns out before I can get a recommendation on it these days. Um, up next will be a chronograph, but as always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks. Kind of chronograph some uh, popular duty loads through the uh, Caracal left here. Up first, we'll have the uh, Winchester Ranger, 115 grain. Two shots of that, followed by two shots of uh, HST, 124 grain. And then the uh, Gold Dot Plus P, 124 grain. We'll zoom out there so you guys can see it. We'll be firing at a distance of about seven feet. It's about 70 degrees out here today. Not humid at all. up next. That'll do it.